you have very competent people, you have very, very strong expertise, people with 30 years of experience in logistics. We just have to get them to work right. So let's uh, first talk about the, uh, the transformation program that you have implemented at, uh, in your organization. So as you rightfully said, I joined Maersk in 2016. Um, and, and as you said, this, this department is mostly focused on customers. And working on customers, uh, we need to be able to have not just the right implementation, but the right message to the customer. Because we, we interact with Nike's and Adidas and all these big brands day in, day out. Mm -hmm. So when I joined, um, one of the first things I realized is that we had absolutely no structure. Okay. Yeah, which is kind of ironic because it's a big company. It's a, and by no structure means we were able to do the job but we were able to follow up and, and be able to get the right information, the right timing, and do informed decisions uh, quickly if mm -hmm. we need to have something in place. Um, the teams, we had teams in Europe, we had teams in America, teams in Asia, very unstructured, not, not very standardized, and different roles, different models. Um, we had situations where customers like uh, customers in retail, they would feel that they were talking to different companies even though they were talking to the same. So, it's kind of a, there was kind of a big challenge in it. Okay. Um, so the first, the first, when I joined in the, f the first week, I, I, I started asking the team, um, what, what is our pipeline? What are we working for? Um, um, what is our next target? What is our next priority? What, is the, what escalations do we have now? And it took me about two months to collect this information. Um, as, you can, as you can imagine, if you're working to customers, if you're working in a, in a company with the size of brand, or the, the size of mask, you can't take two months to get this information, right? Mm -hmm. You need to get it in seconds, in minutes, yeah. and you need to be able to, to deprioritize or prioritize something pretty quick because this could, this could ultimately cost you business. So we put this plan, and we put a plan to focus on delivery, focusing on um, changing priorities faster without causing a massive impact on the everything, mm -hmm. on, on, on the overall thing, but also putting governance. And by governance means knowing how to communicate with stakeholders, mm -hmm. knowing how to um, to escalate, do basic things on risk assessment, evaluate uh, the risk of getting it done or not getting it done. Um, and, and this went all over uh, the world, introducing a new system. So we introduced um, uh, Jira as a, one of the platforms for backlog management and customer interaction. Mm -hmm. We introduced um, kind of agile methodology Scrum, not in a pure essence because um, as you probably as you probably know, we need to be able to have the entire team to work on this model. Mm -hmm. And when we work with external customers, we tell them we're going to work in, in sprints, and they say, yeah, sure. <laughs> but I still want to have this done in four months, and this is my waterfall plan, and I don't really mind how you do it. Yep. So it's kind of a, when I talk about agile scrum in the team, it's, it's a little bit more from a sense of having quicker interactions and finding out faster if you are going in the right direction. 